Well, hi there, guys, and welcome to another video. So, guys, today you find me in front of the HyperX Esports Arena contestant entrance at the Luxor, but less about that later. Uh, guys, so today's video, we are in Las Vegas, I think. We are. Oh, hi, mate. Hi, mate. Uh, and we are here for, why are we here? Um, breakfast. We are here for breakfast. We are in Las Vegas for breakfast and probably other things as well. Um, Anyway, uh, let's get on and have some Las Vegas things in a video, shall we? Let's. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. I see we are currently at gate C53 at London Heathrow Airport. Yes, C53. Terminal 5. And I believe we're here because we plan to board a plane. We are going to board a plane. Excellent. What side of the plane are we going to board? An A350. And where's that plane going to go? Do you think people guessed that before you said it? Probably, knowing us. Yes. Well, and also probably the title of the video, I would guess. It could be. But I don't know yet. Telling. 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 Four, five, seven, knob. Four, five, six, knob. Betty Willis is the name of the lady who created this sign. She worked for the Electric Sign Company and was commissioned $40,000 in 1959 to do this sign after she... After... Hi, mate. Hi. Do you like Huff? I do like Huff. Do you like Huff? I do like Huff. Then you'll probably like Huff and more Puff. Oh, yeah. Nice. Bonus. 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 Oh, yeah. Bonus. That was very unlikely to happen, but I feel good about that. Six free games. Are you confident about winning big? Okay, we're going to win big. We're going to build various huts of straw, various houses of wood, and lots of brick mansions. Um, almost guaranteed. Except, as of right now, we're only going to build straw huts. No, that's two, two wood houses. So... That's about oh, we've got a re trip Excellent. So let's see. Maybe. Let's hope for a mansion. 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 Come on. More mansions. That is a shame. We did not, we did not do too well there. But let's see how we get on. Right. The straw huts are built. The wood cabins are built. No mansion, sadly. The wolf has arrived. The wolf will take a breath. And... Blow. Wolf blows. And as expected, given we're only betting 150, the rewards are shambolic. And well, 600, that's not so shabby. So, total prize there, $18. Not brilliant. But then you've got to bet big to win big. Congratulations, madam. Thank you. Well done, everyone. Puff and more puff. Good day. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you a quick update on the day's strategy. Today we are looking for good strategy. Let's see what we've got. Will you? Good strategy. Good strategy. Poor strategy. Good strategy. Very good strategy. Good strategy. Yeah. I think it's enough strategy for one day, don't you? Ah, you appear to be playing Piggy Bankin, a locket link game. Yes, and it looks like you've just got a feature. Do you have a feature? The locket yeah. feature? Let's, let's play the locket. Let's lock it. Nice. Here we go then. Well, we are pinning pigs to the board because that's the thing you do. More pigs. More pigs makes for more piggy banks. We're getting a good spread of pigs now. Fill the gaps. We like big pigs. Okay, that's not bad. We've got one big pig. That's 
Mm. What is meant? We just get that top middle one. No, it's okay. We did get a relatively large cake. So uh, let's let's see if we get some big. Hundred, hundred, three hundred. Here we go then. Let's spin the pig. Pig be breaking. Pig is spinning. Some good action from that. What we going to get? Twenty. Well, we have worse. Can't complain. Okay, there we go, there's our completed bonus game. Well done, mate, well done, well done, everyone. Well, the, the sponsors are pleased with that, the fans will be pleased with that, and we're very pleased with that, and we're, uh, we're looking forward to more successes next season. Yes. Oh, hi, mate, I find you in the middle of a quick hit blitz. Yes. I see you're trying to catch blitz thing. Oh, yeah. It seems like you need quite a lot of uh, advanced jackpots here. Yeah, you do. You need 27 more on two spins. Uh, it doesn't look like you're going to get it. No. Are you sure? But we have got 282 We do currently have 282 dollars. The next jackpot would be 818. But we did get 20 blitzes in this spin, which is looking like we're a little short on. About 15 short of. That's unfortunate. We did get a jackpot of $282.23. Plus an extra $29.70 from the things that landed across the board during. So what's the total win there? $382.23. Yeah. Oh, well, that's not bad. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Well, that was bad. I'm fairly happy with that. Do you think the sponsors are happy with that? Yeah. And do you think the fans are happy with that? Oh, we're all happy. Uh, all very happy. Uh, yes, we do enjoy the quick hits, especially quick hit blitz. Do we enjoy quick hit jungle? Not very much. And what about quick hit volcano? Uh, slightly more, yes. What about quick hit fever? Also slightly more, yes. Yes. So I think this is the best we've done on a quick hit, the blitz. And the tunes are pretty good. But then my, the only bad thing about the Quick Hit Blitz is that in the bonus game, you don't get to turn over tiles and test your strategy. Yeah, it turned out well for us. It did turn out, because we often have poor strategy. Oh, it's still counting. $311 is a lot to count through. Well, I think after this, we'll probably go for breakfast because it's not even 8 in the morning yet. It is a, uh, an early morning start. Well, thank you, Blaine. Thank you. You find me at my beach cabana, which may have been a slightly over-the-top rental. Um, I am here buying the pool. Uh, you can see the pool and you can see the rest of my party down there. Um, the two of us have these two beach chairs uh, and the two of us also have the use of these three beach chairs uh, and the two of us uh, also have the use of these four chairs by the table um, not to mention uh, these four sofa chairs and of course the table and the other table and the inflatable and the television and the various fridges full of things and uh, yeah that was probably slightly overkill a choice of beach location rental thing. It's good. I like it. Oh, hi wife. How is the water? It's cold. It's cold. That's good though, right? Yeah. Excellent. Nice. I decided to get a southern breakfast bowl, so let's open it up and see what we've got. We have got... Uh, some stuff, some gravy, some a bunch of stuff actually. Um, I'm sure it will be very nice. Um... Well, I thought I might try a beverage I've not tried before. Starry. 
Starry. It's a name you know, it's a name you trust. Can you give my Starry for me, please? Mmm, nice, yes. So, it is a lemon lime, caffeine free flavoured soda with other natural flavours. Uh, let's give it a shot and see how we like it. Starry going in. It's Sprite or 7 Up or actually it tastes more like Faxaconda. <laughs> That's all. The biggest problem with recording at the pool is copyrighted music playing loudly in the background and not being able to do a thing without a potential content ID strike, so that's fun. I'll tell you what you need by the pool at the Mandalay Bay. You need a generously stocked fridge. Thankfully, MGM provides this lovely cupboard containing a fridge, very ideal for out in the desert, and it is very reasonably stocked with beverages that I enjoy. I don't mind telling you, it is hot as bone out here, like 35 degrees. But that's why you need MGM Rewards purified water. Refreshing. Enjoying your by the pool experience. I am enjoying it. It is warm. It is warm. It's like 30 something degrees, isn't it? 30 something. 30 something. A bit, uh, bit too warm for my tastes. <laughs> Have you been enjoying your beverage? It is very small. And what is it? It's a margarita. Margarita? Is that what one drinks by the pool? Absolutely. Margarita by the pool. Standard. Standard. Cheers, mate. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Sometimes, in the middle of the desert, you have to sit in front of a giant red ball spewing out water to generate mist so that you can stay cool. That's what I'm doing right now. It is actually fairly cool. We have just disembarked our Uber. Uh, what was it? Was it Tesla? Tesla Model something. Yep. Um, thank you, Brandon. Uh, we are at South Point. Um, and we have come here for the garden buffet. Yes. Uh, it's our first time visiting South Point. Uh, seems perfectly good. Good, well we're going to head inside and try and find that. Computer room. That's where they keep the South Point mainframe. The mastermind of all operations in Las Vegas. We've joined the queue, you would say line, here to enter the garden buffet. Uh, we have no standing here, so there's no line skipping of any sort. Uh, it is Memorial Day weekend. There are lots of balloons up saying thank you for your service. Um, so that's probably why it's busy. It opened 15 minutes ago and uh, I think the line is moving fairly fast. Yes. Good. Well, we made it through the queue. Uh, it was something like $28 per person, though it's less if you have a card thing. Anyway, uh, first hit at the deck uh, has involved a sausage patty, some bacon, some ordinary sausages, a big sausage, some grilled spam, and a bit of hashish, uh, and of course, a full sugar Pepsi. Uh, so I'm going to eat this, and um, hopefully it'll be good. And for my second hit of the deck, I decided to go for more bacon, obviously, scrambled egg, naturally, and uh, biscuit, and gravy. Mmm gravy. Nice. Next, I sent my wife on a mission to go to the taco self-build station so that I might enjoy a taco with, of course, seasoned beef and not your cheese. Let's see if it's any good. Hi, mate. Hi, mate. How are you enjoying the garden buffet? Very much so, yes. Mmm, buffet. Well, that concludes the garden buffet. Uh, so what would I say, uh, the bacon was good, hot, good flavour, good taste, sausages again, hot, good, good texture, very good texture, especially the sausage patty, excellent texture, um, 
biscuit gravy, absolutely exceptional, very good, piping hot, very good, um, scrambled egg, yes, that was good, ordinary, ordinary, uh, what else did I have? Cake pot, cheesecake pot. I did have a cheesecake pot, which I didn't document, that was very good as well. Oh, there's something else I might play. Oh, Hashi B. Hashi B was a bit cold, actually, and, and a bit soft. Um, but it, the, the flavour was, was fine. Um, did you enjoy your hits? I enjoyed my beer, yes. Good, excellent. So, yes, Garden Buffet at South Point gets my recommendation. Your recommendation? Yes, please. One of the best buffets in Las Vegas, you might say. You might say. I said it. Oh, hi, mate. Hi. I saw you over here, and I thought I'd come and say hello. I see you're still in front of the gentleman. Is 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 that Benny Binion, if I'm not mistaken? <laughs> yeah, I thought so. Isn't he one of the founding members of something? <laughs> Supposedly found in Las Vegas at one point. Oh, right, excellent. Uh, what else can you tell me about him? Something about a rodeo. Yeah, something about rodeo. Yeah, oh, Binion. Everyone loves a bit of Binions. There's definitely a horse theme going on here, isn't there? Yes, there is. There's some kind of equestrian centre. And there's some sort of stuff up on that wall. Yeah. Oh, the 10 a.m. No Limit Texas Holding Tournament starting. Quick, let's get over there. Quick, the room. Do you like horses? Do you like bovines? Do you like Photoshop? Well, then I've got just the thing for you. The South Point Arena and equestrian centre. Do you agree? I agree. That's actually here. They have rodeo stuff going on. Yeah, it's kind of cool. South Point's got a lot of things. It's got Thanks. Starbucks, Krispy Kreme, the rodeo. And rodeo. What <laughs> better way to spend a weekend? Memorial Day weekend, no less. You know how when you're playing satisfactory and you're building a pipe? and you've been building it over a really long distance and then suddenly you realise it's too low and you have to go over something. I think that may be what happened here. It's entirely possible I've mentioned this from time to time before, but I do enjoy a good Popeyes. I do enjoy a good spicy tender. Mmm. 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 Ah, I'm locked in. I wonder if Big D has sealed the deal yet. Welcome on board everyone. All customers have now boarded and will shortly pause for Highlight Entertainment. Well, that ended abruptly. Yes, it did. Very sudden. It was absolutely sudden. I think we just forgot to carry on recording footage at some point in the holiday? I think we did. We just stopped. We just stopped? Yeah. Because sometimes you've just got to stop. Yeah. Uh, but it was a good holiday, wasn't it? It was excellent, yeah. What, uh, what were your most enjoyed parts? I really enjoyed going to South Point and seeing a casino that I had never seen before. It was interesting to go right the way down there. Right the way down there. Right the way down there, yes. Yeah. Far field. We did take a lot of Uber as well over we there. We did take a lot of Ubers. Ubers are excellent in Las Vegas. Ubers are the new whatever they've replaced. Taxis, I imagine. Taxis that you imagine. Yes, South Point was good. The buffet was good. What? Uh, we also went to the Excalibur buffet. Yes, we did. That was an enjoyable experience, though we had documented that previously. Uh, where else did we eat? We went to Hussong's. Hussong's Cantina, yes. yes. And Diablo's. Diablo's, yes, yes. we did. Where else? Uh, Della's Kitchen. Della's Kitchen was good, yes. And what was the other kitchen? Uh, Nellie's Southern Kitchen. Nellie's Southern Kitchen. House of Blues? House of Blues was good, although they had issues with our very strange foreign overseas cards. Oh, foreign European cards, which of course asked for a pin. How obscure that is, yes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was the whole thing. Yes. Um, we mostly, though, charged our food and beverage to the room because we were mostly eating at MGM locations, things like the Pyramid Cafe, and well, most 
most places that we, we ate we could charge the room and uh, we had a pleasant call from a casino host on the last day, did we not? We did. She uh, she told us that we should remember that we had a direct line to her and um, yeah, some some charges that we had on our room mysteriously went um, She did indeed take care of some of our charges. Yeah. Um, so yes, our direct line to the MGM and the Kremlin um, has turned out to be extremely useful. Um, I think it was every food and beverage charge was removed from the bill. Oh uh, yeah, I think so. And the original booking included how many comp nights? Four nights. Four nights, but definitely additional nights were removed because the final price that came through was negligible yeah. um, compared to what we expected. I mean, especially given that it was a sweet mate. It was a sweet mate. Yes, so that turned out to be quite cheap. Um, the flights were good. Did you enjoy the flights? I really enjoyed the flights. Business class BA cannot fault it. Cannot fault it, but you do have to book it about a year in advance for it to be even remotely affordable. You absolutely do. We don't get that comp. No. Uh, indeed. Uh, what? What? Uh, oh, the, another enjoyable experience, of course, was the tour bus, the open top tour. Oh yes, our uh, our tour guide was quite the character. She was a little bit angry and very. Sassy? She was sassy, was Bella, yes. Bella. Um, and I, as a Briton, of course, enjoy a little sass, sarcasm, anger, and general um, disgust at everything. <laughs> um, I imagine some of the patrons of that tour wouldn't have enjoyed that, but I yeah. certainly did. Probably not. And of course, it did take us to downtown. We did drive through downtown. Which I do not enjoy it with the downtown. But we did get to see the new casino. Yes, Circa, yes. The Circa, which has the biggest sports book in Las Vegas. Outdoor pool something, sports book. Something, yeah, something, something like that, yes. Um, but obviously we didn't just go there. Um, yes, that was good. The cabana, the, the beach cabana was also good. The beach cabana was excellent. I did enjoy being quaited on yes. um, there. Uh, we, there, were, there was, of course, um, Misty. Misty, our server. We saw in the video there. Um, and also had a henchman who came with Misty every time, but never said anything. No. But they were the red shirts, they were yes. people who handled food and beverage, but there was also the blue shirts. Yes. Uh, they handled beach operations, pool operations, I believe. They moved furniture around. And so the important things, yes. And we didn't need to call upon them, really. No, we didn't. But yes, that was good. They, for some reason, they were the ones who came and refilled the fridge. Yes. Not the food and beverage people, but I think the food and beverage people were attached to the um, the cafe facility at the beach. So. Yes. So yeah, that was that was excellent. Though by the end of that day, I was feeling a little unwell from the heat. You were. It was very warm. I was asked whether I was in health. I believe. Mm, yes. In the elevator, a woman asked you if you were ship shape. And a shine. Oh, yeah. And I, I, I was, I was fine after yes. a brief uh, re-entry into the air conditioning. Yes. Yes. Uh, anything else? What else is notable, noteworthy? Quick hit fever. Oh yes. Slots. We hadn't really played quick hit fever before, so that was a good, good game to play. We had a few big wins. Um, I think we had like our folio at the end and found out. Um, yeah, betted in was well over ten thousand dollars, and, and betted out was not much lower. So, yeah. um, yes, I think we only actually had about four hundred dollars of losses yeah. during our time there, which is excellent for the amount that we bet. Yes. So that was that was good too. Um, yes, I think there's a great deal more to reflect upon. Oh, moths. Oh, moths and crickets. Moths and crickets. There was a notification about moths. What did the notification say? Uh, that they were aware of the issue with heat moths, summer moths. Yes. Summer moths. So we, we walked into our room and there was a moth. There was a moth. There were moths everywhere. Yes. But they weren't causing much bother. No. They seemed very docile. Yes. But yes, there were, there were crickets everywhere. We could hear them everywhere. You yes. never saw any. They were obviously in the ventilation <laughs> and so on and so forth, which is good. Yes, I think that's that's about all. It does make the Mandalay Bay sound rather shambolic, but it wasn't. It just this is moths and crickets moths are everywhere. And crickets are everywhere. You can't get rid of them. <laughs> uh, well, I think that's about it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, 
please do read a comment below. What would we like people to comment on today? What about what slot machines people enjoy? Yes, indeed. Whether you are an accomplished slotist, a gambling addict, a casual slot player, or someone who once played slots and didn't like them. Um, yes, what slots have you played and what did you think of them and what do you enjoy? And yes, um, I think we do enjoy the quick hit fever recently. But uh, yes, there's a lot of good slots. I didn't actually get to play the original quick hit in my favourite Stars and Bars variation this time, but perhaps next time. I, I will be back there in September. Um, so, uh, yes, but you won't be attending that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's about all the time for. Um, I look forward to seeing you in the next video, of course. Uh, do you look forward to seeing you in the next video? I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Anything more you need to say to our viewers at this time? Nothing more. Nothing more. Well, in that case, guys, um, from me uh, and from you, it's... Uh, mm, goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Hong, hong, hong.